We are speaking today with Kevin Pangas, a Canadian professional basketball player currently on the roster of Herbalife Gran Canaria. Kevin, uh, I was impressed by the fact that you, being so young, you already have your autobiography published. Can you tell us how did it happen? We have a really close family friend uh, that we grew up going to, to camps with. Uh, he was a close friend of my parents and so, uh, and I was close with his, his kids. And uh, he just one day approached me with the idea that he wanted to write a book about my, my upbringing and uh, the people that had a, an impact on me. So I said, sure, let's, let's make it happen. And it took about five or six years and he traveled and watched me play and visited me at school and everything. And um, yeah, I just wrote a, wrote a biography about, um, you know, my family, my teachers, my friends and everything that had an impact on uh, helping me get to, to where I am. So uh, it's about me, but it's more about the, the other factors that have helped me um, in the whole process. Seeing your Twitter account, one can easily see that social media is important for you. Uh, can you tell us how do you use social media and how do you feel about it? Yeah, I think, I think it's important um, in our society these days. It's a, a nice way to interact with, uh, you know, everyone. And uh, I like to use it and, and try to use it in a positive way. And um, I try to also show that I'm, I'm more than just a, a basketball player. You know, I enjoy um, my family. It's important to me and I like to travel and do all that kind of stuff. So um, I try to be active uh, when I can, but at the same time, not annoy people with, with too much stuff. So um, yeah, I, I enjoy social media. Have you had any feedback on your book? Yeah, I've, uh, I've had s some feedback from it and people have said that they, they enjoyed it so far and um, that it was a nice read, so um, that, that's good. I didn't write it, I have never written a book, so, but it, it was an honor just to have the, the idea of a, a book being, being about me or being in a book was uh, really neat and people have really supported it. And how do you feel being the youngest player on the team who have his biography published, uh, would you call this sentiment uh, pressure? Yeah, not really pressure. Um, I just feel like it was an opportunity that uh, I had and I, I was really fortunate um, and that my family friend even even considered to, to write a book about me and it was his first book so it was also a, a challenge for him and something that he, he really wanted to do um, and so it just worked out for the both of us so I, I would just say it was, it was fortunate and uh, um, yeah, I'm just thankful. And now for something completely different. Do you recall any anecdote connected with uh, currency exchange or money exchange? Um, I can just remember one time when I was a, a younger kid, um, my grandparents and my dad's side of the family is Slovenian. And so we went and traveled to Slovenia. Uh, we did a whole European trip and, and Slovenia was a place that we spent a lot of time. And um, all I can recall is just that like a thousand whatever Slovenian dollars was like ten dollars in, in uh, Canadian dollars and so when I saw that like a sandwich was a thousand dollars I was just shocked by it but um, then my parents educated me and told me how how the whole currency stuff worked so um, that was kind of my first experience of understanding uh, the different kind of types of currency back then you could feel yourself like a, you know a rap star i'm eating this ten thousand yeah. dollar sandwich ha 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 look at me now yeah exactly <laughs> piece of bread cheese and, and meat and ten thousand dollars like whoa geez but um yeah it was a it was a cool experience when i was such a young age thank you